Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. Go back. You cannot drag this mother and father, sir. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. You cannot drag this mother and father, sir. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. You cannot drag this mother and father, sir. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. You cannot drag this mother and father, sir. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. This is not a game. This is going on. Everybody's doing this. Hold hands, lock hands. Hold hands, lock hands. No, Don't, no resistance. No resistance. Drop. 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 Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. No peace. No peace. You cannot drag this mother and father, sir. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Go willingly, go willingly. This is not a game. This is going on. Everybody's doing this. Everybody Hold hands, lock hands. Hold hands, lock hands. No resistance. Drop, 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 drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Um, um, I think you trans tried to transfer me to the lieutenant and he didn't pick up. I'm sorry, sir. What was your reality? This was something that I received notice on that was posted on Facebook. And I want to share it with you. Uh, we want all the information that we can because it's all about information. It's not about making accusations or nothing like this. We understand that this was a call that was made to someone. And so we just want to share it with you. Let's just see what they're talking about here. Let me back up a little bit. And um, yes, ma'am. I'm just trying to figure out some more information. I'm sorry, sir. What was your real Um, yes, I'm just trying to figure out some more information on a relative of mine who, who has died, and I don't have any clue about anything, and I'm just trying to figure out if I can find any information on that. Okay, who's the relative? Uh, Kendrick Johnson. Okay, you'll need to take a look at that shot down for one moment, please. Okay. Okay, Um, yes, sir. Um, I actually had a few questions um, about a relative of mine who has passed, and I was trying to see if I can find out some information on that whatsoever. Okay. Um, yes, sir. The relative name is Kendrick Johnson. Uh-huh. Yes, and I have no idea. All I know is that he died, and I'm trying to figure out anything about that if possible. Okay. Um, we normally don't discuss cases over the telephone. Obviously, we don't know who we're speaking with or anything such as that. Um, if, if you're related, if you spoke with his family. I mean, yeah, they, they said the said best, best bet right now is to call you guys to actually see, like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, because, like, this is, I, I, I was just told about this last night, and I'm stunned, like, somebody said something about a murder, and I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm, I'm really just amazed. I, I don't know what happened. Like I was told something about a murder, and I'm and I'm surprised because I don't know anything at all. Like I don't know anything. No, sir. He, Mr. Johnson was not murdered. His uh, death was a result of an accident. But um, there was no throughout the investigation. There was no indication he found it was anything other than an accident. Okay, it, it was just awkward because like I've seen his face, and I'm just wondering like how could that happen? Like his face is like literally disfigured. Like I could, I couldn't even recognize him. It was post autopsy, but I mean, my thing is like, it's just that I mean, they said they said it was like a day 
after he was reported missing. It's just, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, sir. I've never been to school for it. I've never been to school for coroners, anything of that study. But that is kind of awkward that his face is like that in a short amount of time. No, sir, not, not once we spoke to the medical examiner and they provided some scientific backing for you know, their issuing the, issuing the opinion of why it was like it was. Uh, once we said that with them, I mean, it provided a pretty clear picture that, that no, that was not the case. The swelling you're seeing is not a result of injury. It's a result of him being upside down and, and the massive blood uh, pooling in the lower extremities, which in this case was his head. Okay, well, I mean, like, how exactly, how, how exactly did he get in the mat? I mean, like, it's, it's, that's still awkward myself, because it's like, how do you get into a, did, did he fall into a mat? Did he crawl into a mat? Like, what happened? Okay, you want to hang up, because I got on your ass. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you see what it is. Once again, we still on the streets of Valdosta, and I want to interview this young man, so I'm going to ask him a few questions. Why are you out here today? And uh, do you think that the people are coming forward and talking about this case and what happened to KJ? Do you feel like the Sheriff's Department have answered the questions in the community? And what about the fact that the family could not review the body? How do you feel about the GBI investigation? Will the body be exhumed? Or do you do you do you have any idea about that? How is the participation for the people that's blowing their horns, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in support of getting justice for KJ? Well, I guess they've made their point, but we do need people to talk. If you know something, step up and tell someone. Don't be ruled by fear. Thank you very much. Yes, as you can see, you hear the horns blowing. That means people are aware of the death of Kendrick Johnson at the Lyons County High School. Many citizens also remember that the family were not permitted to see the body of their deceased loved ones. It's not a black or white thing, but it's a right thing. And there was white people who asked the question, why are there so many questions that are unanswered? And why would anyone not permit the parents who gave birth to a child in Valdosta Lyons County not be permitted to see their remains? Once again, we are doing this because it must be done. No more, no more will we allow the issues and concerns of the people to go unpublished. Secretary, this is kbci.blogspot.com. I'm George Soul on the street in Valdosta, Georgia. As you can see, the Kendrick family, friends, are all still at it, trying to get answers, trying to get justice, trying to get people to come forward who know something but for whatever reason are not talking. And so I have discussed this with the father and it seems as if those people are afraid to come forth with information. While I was driving by just a second ago, I saw something very strange here in Valdosta. In fact, I have never seen this before since I've been in Valdosta. And so we're going to ask this group of people to turn around and let's see what they're doing. Hello. Wow. What is the tape for? I guess it's representing the people that won't talk and may have information. So what is this, a silent protest or what? But they're not speaking. Well, it's obvious of that they can't speak. Once again, this is George Boston Rides on the street, downtown Valdosta, Georgia, in back of the old and in front of the new courthouse. Look at there. Now, I have talked to the investigators, and they tell me 
that people are afraid here in Valdosta to talk in terms of what happened to Kendrick K.J. Johnson. And so look at the sign. The question now is, who killed Kendrick K.J. Johnson? January the 10th, 13, between 1 p.m. and 10.30 a.m. And as you know, the coroner had problems. As you know, they denied the mother, the father, and family members the right to even view the body of Kendrick. And so we had a press conference, and that press conference, they demanded that the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department allow them to review the body or don't move Kendrick's body from Lowndes County. We talked to the sheriff, the grandfather and myself, and eventually they were permitted. But why should they have had to go through that? And so once again, we know and we believe that there are people who know something but are not talking. I guess this might be the strongest statement that could be made. Let's look at this tape there. Look on their mouth there. Look at that. Isn't that something? It's sad that here in Valdosta, in order to get people to come forward with information, all this protesting and all of this tape representing those who are silent needs to speak up. What say you, the people of Valdosta and Lowndes County? What say you? Thank you all very much. Thank you. Once again, I'm George Boston Rhymes, and I've been following this from start, and I want to go through with it until the end. Once again, all the family is requesting, all they are requesting is justice, is justice in the death of this 17-year-old student at Lowndes County High School. Bye-bye. We go. Brian P. Kemp, week before last, published in the Valdosta, uh, no, in the Equipment Free Press. I stand corrected, in the Equipment Free Press. That if it's not in the newspaper, that it did not happen. Well, we making sure that the people know about this. Unlike the meeting, July the 17th, over in Brooks County, that dealt with election problems, yet the general public knew nothing about it. Once again, just keeping you informed. And this is on the corner of Ashley Street, downtown Valdosta, Georgia. It is what it is.
There's a new day a coming. Everybody gonna be free. A better day for you and me. Everybody gonna be free. Everybody gonna be free. Yeah. in the streets and look at all the hungry people the fatherless children with no shoes on their feet can't you hear them all saying I can they're saying I wanna be free gonna be free everybody wanna be free gonna be free. everywhere you go they wanna be free gonna be free everybody wanna be free gonna be way down in Georgia South Africa, they wanna be free. Gonna be New York ain't no better. They wanna be free. Gonna be free. I said they wanna be free. Gonna All that long out, you hear them saying, free. Gonna be free. Up and down the streets of Harlem, free. I can 
up one of our black sisters not long ago. Angela Davis was her name. Oh, yeah. I said I handcuffed her and I took off to jail. Oh, yes, they did. But I want to say I wasn't there, but I can't. Uh, Been a slave. 